Hello, Dr. Goodwin. Hello, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Okay, and uh, as we both know, September is uh, Menopause Awareness Month. That's right. Okay, so it's a good thing that we're talking. <laughs> and while most women associate hot flashes and mood swings with menopause, there are other symptoms that postmenopausal women may be reluctant to talk about with their doctors. Joining us today to talk about what to expect and how to address the menopause issue uh, is, is you, Dr. Lisa Masterson, former host on The Doctors and currently sharing health and lifestyle information on your website, which is Health and Heals with Dr. Lisa. Uh, Dr. Lisa, we know that you're a national expert on gynecology, obstetrics, infertility, adolescent gynecology, and family planning. Also, that you've appeared on numerous media programs, including CNN, Oprah, The Today Show, Dr. Phil, and other leading uh, media programs. So we're very pleased to be talking to such an expert today. Uh, let's get started. What are some of the symptoms associated with menopause? Well, as you know, it's a natural and normal event, and um, a lot of women uh, have heard of, as you mentioned earlier, hot flashes, uh, mood disturbances, uh, sleep, uh, sleep you know, problems, um, they'll have uh, memory lapses, they'll have weight gain, which they get really, you know, upset about and frustrated with. Um, but also the one that I wanted to highlight today because I think it's the one that um, women are talking about the least, which can have a big impact on their quality of life, is um, feminine dryness or vaginal dryness, which can cause, um, as you know, dyspareunia or painful intercourse. And that's really important because it affects you know, it can affect relationships and um, a woman's self-image. So it's a really important one, and a woman may be uh, afraid to talk to her doctor about it. So it's really important that we, you know, talk about it so that women know that it's, you know, it's a part of menopause um, because of the, the lack of estrogen that affects the tissue and that, uh, that there is a treatment for it. Okay. And and so the vaginal dryness uh, is a postmenopausal symptom. Well, you know, this well, the symptom would be dyspareunia or the painful intercourse, and that's caused by the vaginal dryness, which which in turn is caused by vulval vaginal atrophy. And as you know, that's when you have decreased estrogen that goes to the vaginal tissues and causes it to thin and become dry and inflamed. And so that's what the vulval vaginal atrophy is what causes the painful intercourse. And, um, you, you know, when you have, and this affects one in three women, this affects a lot of women. So it's really important that they know why this is happening. And unlike hot flashes that will eventually go away, we know if we don't treat that vaginal tissue, it can only become worse. So it's really important that women talk to their doctors about it and seek out some form of treatment, not only so that it doesn't get worse, but also so it doesn't potentially affect their relationships and um, other aspects of their life. Okay, and, and when you say vulvo vaginal atrophy, can you yes. elaborate a little bit on that? That's when the walls of the vagina and then the vulva actually start to thin because of the lack of estrogen. So they get thin, they get dry, they get inflamed, and um, this is what causes the painful intercourse. And, you know, that thinning and those, that reaction on the tissue continues, you know, to, to, to worsen as time goes on. So how can we encourage women and their doctors to discuss this? Well, yet yeah, one, the doctor should bring it up. Doctors should be actively encouraged to ask patients about, you know, are they having intercourse? Are they having any problems with intercourse? Because patients are um, afraid to ask about that or don't know they should be talking about. It. And then just, you know, you and I telling people out there today, ask your doctor about that. That should be something that you're asking about that because it's a big part of a person's health and um, a big part of their life. So it's really important to know that they're having a healthy sexual life. And then to and know... 
that you say that one out of three women after post uh, menopause may have this issue? May have moderate to severe dyspareunia, yes. And so it's really important to talk about the issue, to talk about the different treatment options available. Because as you know, there's moisturizers and lubricants that people can have, but they don't really treat the underlying problem. They just, um, they're temporary and they don't treat the, the tissue. And so, it's, so that's why, you know, also I'm thrilled to be here today um, on behalf of Duchenne USA to be able to talk about um, different options like Osfina, which is the only FDA approved um, non-hormonal oral pill because a lot of things are vaginal application and you know a lot of patients don't want to put things in vaginally because it can be messy and so they don't stick with the treatment. So I'm really thrilled that that's an option for women out there. And so, you know, letting them know this is really important, but also that they should talk to their doctors because these things come with risk factors too, like cardiovascular disease and endometrial cancer. So it's important that they have the right fit. Okay, now can you repeat again what, what it is you're recommending? Ospina, which is the only FD. How, how are you spelling that? It's O S P H E A E N A. O S P H E N A. Okay, all right. So now, what can women do to treat? Okay, that's what was. Spell, spell that again. O S P H E N A. Ospina. Okay, all right, I've got that. And, uh, Fortunately, on our video, we'll also be spelling it again for women. That's great. Um, yeah, it's great that they know what, that's an option. What did you say? It's great that they know that that's an option out there, that there's an oral okay. option. And where can women learn more about this? If they go to the website, Osphena, O-S-P-H-E-E-N-A, dot com. So, Osphena, dot com. Okay, and that they can get additional information that way. They'll have information not only about Osfina, but about menopause, and I have a, a, a quiz on there that women can take and, and find out, you know, what exactly they should be talking to their doctor about. Okay, well, this has all been very helpful. I'm sure my health power uh, audience of women will benefit from having this information. And I certainly want to thank you for sharing it with us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed okay. it. Thank you. All right. So long. Okay. Bye-bye.